sorry, I saw myself and I was like, damn, she's fine. You know, thank you. Um, hey all, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Nay Cole, coming back to you with an update about perming my hair. I permed my hair several weeks ago. It's almost been about a month now. That was March 19th. Today is um, the 18th. So yeah, about a month. This is my hair right now. Damn. I got new growth. And let me just tell you, I'm not perming my hair again. Maybe for a movie role. They pay me a couple stacks. I'm good on it. It was nice. I really did love it. It was fun. I like playing with it. But right now, I am currently waiting for my hair to grow out to a length that I feel comfortable enough to cut it off and just go back to my regular styling routine of how I use my how I do my waves and stuff. Because this it is about the same amount of maintenance. But the thing is, is when my hair is usually grown out when it's natural, I usually just wear it naturally curly until I'm ready to cut it off. But with this, I have to gel it down because if not, I will look like this. Okay. This is my hair. Two weeks post perm. It's dry. And it just looks ridiculous. This is what my hair looks like freshly washed. Right. And I feel like I look like that dude off of you guys. Or I can't think of his name. But I look like somebody that I'm not supposed to be looking like. That's just the bottom line. Pros. It was cute. My natural hair is cute too. So I don't really know if that's a pro. The color is like a silver color right now. And that's just because I continue to wash my hair with the purple shampoo. So with every wash, the color becomes a more silver. It dries faster? No, let's scratch that. No pros for real, for real. Cons. My hair is definitely breaking off in the back. But um, it's darker back here because the bleach hair broke off. Another thing that I've noticed, I feel like my edges right here are really thin. I mean, you can't really tell right now. But because they're slicked down, when I washed my hair and I was just touching it, like this part felt really thin. And that's one reason why I'm holding off cutting it right now. Just because I want my hair to grow out more. So when I do cut it off, it ain't looking patchy or crazy. I don't want that at all. So it's waving up right now. Literally for this, of course, I am featuring my How I Style video in this video. Make sure you stay tuned for that. My hair is dry right now. And um, these, this is just from me combing it down and then I like slicked it over this way. So that's why this part is like really straight. But that's like, as you can see, the hair that's growing out. And it's like, it's not hard, but it's like, it's sitting there. Yeah, I'm good on this hairstyle. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you try this hairstyle. It was fun while it lasted. I am ready to update you guys with the new how I cut and color my hair. I'm definitely going to do a video of when I cut this off, what that would even look like. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, all of that, leave it down below. And as always, be loved. Most importantly, be light. Peace about it is that I can feel my curls. I'm gonna sell it now.